Hello, I'm Dr. Israel Barkin, and uh, today we are going to talk about the subject of metformin and prostate cancer. The abstract that I'm going to review has to do with the effect of metformin on prostate cancer outcomes after radical prostatectomy. This was done by the Department of Urology at the Mayo Clinic. It's a very recent paper that was published in the Urologic Oncology Seminar and Original Investigation 2013. It was accepted in May 9, 2013. Let's go now to the abstract. Recent studies have shown that there is a relative risk reduction in the incidence of prostate cancer in patients taking metformin. What is metformin? Metformin is a medication for diabetes type 2, is the first line medication given for diabetic patients. However, there are conflicting findings on the effect of metformin on established cases of prostate cancer. So in this study, we evaluate the effect of metformin on survival and pathologic outcome. Let me stress it here, on survival and pathologic outcome in the established prostate cancer patient. It's very important to understand that many studies are talking about rising PSA, biochemical recurrence, progression of disease, but this really talks about the final outcome of the survival and also about how did it change being on metformin or not the fact that the patient was on metformin. Prior to discussion the results of this test, uh, let's go first on discussing the materials and methods. In this study, they retrospectively studied 1,252 patients. All these patients had radical prostatectomy between the year 1997 to 2010 at the Mayo Clinic. Among these, 7.3% were diabetic, which included 323 taking and 562 not taking metformin. They calculated the rate of biochemical recurrence, systemic progression, and all causes mortality. Let's go now and look at the results. Results and conclusion. The median follow-up was 5.1 years. The metformin HR hazard ratio was not significant for biochemical recurrence, pathological stage, systemic progression, and all causes mortality. After adjusting for covariance of interest, the hazard ratio for metformin among diabetic remained non-significant, non-significant for biochemical recurrence and pathological stage, for systemic progression, and for all causes mortality. No significant difference was seen between metformin users and non-users in the final pathological glycine score, in the stage, in the rate of positive margin, or the tumor volume. Metformin was not associated with risk of reduction in biochemical recurrence, in systemic progression, or all causes mortality. So this is an area of controversy because recently there were some reports that metformin has a role with prostate cancer, maybe improve a bit on prognosis or prevent prostate cancer. But these two topics of preventing or unknown prostate cancer patient, what is the effect of metformin, these issues are controversial. And as a matter of fact, there are currently ongoing studies. Our study was retrospective, although a large number, but there are new studies, so patients that want to join those studies could consider it in case they are good candidates. They should really um, talk with their doctors and see if they could join those studies. But um, overall, I would say that we don't have clear evidence that metformin helps. So the issue is this, as Dr. Patrick Wall said in one of his commentaries, he said that more studies need to be done and he would advocate using metformin on patients that may have some indication to be on it and pre-diabetic perhaps, but uh, otherwise patients that are not diabetic or pre-diabetic, there is no reason to believe that metformin is doing the job until we get a better proof from the literature. 
So for patients that uh, ask me, well, shall I be on metformin or not? I found it very interesting that recently there is even a report that metformin together with Casodex work better. This is not in humans, this is in the laboratory. So metformin is going to be around, will be more discussion, and in some patient, case by case, I think it needs to be judged, I would add metformin to patients that are on Casodex or consider it, but full, knowing, f fully knowing that there is no complete proof, we could try. The safety profile of metformin is not that bad, but still we have to have reverence to any medication and really think whether we want to add another medication to the multiple medication the patient is already on. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to call us. Call us at 619-906-4700 or write to us at info at pcref.org. Otherwise, I would like to announce that we have the Medical Smart Chart, which is a very useful tool for patients to follow their PSA, to follow their tests, to follow other events, to follow other uh, x-rays that the patient had. And this is done quite easily, and you could input information at any time of your convenience. So it's called Medical Smart Chart. It is on our homepage website, and I hope to meet you there and put your information there. Thank you, stay well and stay informed. Goodbye.